Welcome back. Hey guys, tonight we wanted to try something a little bit different. Shane is from Cincinnati and has been eating Cincinnati style chili his entire life. I am not from the best. <laughs> I am not from Cincinnati, so I moved here about five years ago and I actually like it, but it's very different. If you've never had it, it's very different. It's very cinnamony. Um, it's not chili. Yeah, it's not chili. It's more of like a sauce. It's very thin and runny and typically served over spaghetti. You can have it other ways, but over spaghetti with a pound of cheese on it is how I, how I like it. <laughs> For anyone that's not from Cincinnati, when we say chili, it's not what you think. It's not hearty. It's not packed with chunks of beef and vegetables and beans. It is literally just sauce, like a watery seasoned sauce with very thin ground meat. Yeah, and it's, it's, very, it's a very weird flavor, like cinnamon and cocoa and other spices. So it's very different than your traditional chili. The, the, the background of Cincinnati style chili comes from Greek, um, from Greece, I guess Greek immigrants, and they brought some sort of recipe and that's kind of how this thing came about in a very, very short brief I don't history. know much about the history. It's just, <laughs> I just know that, it, that it, it's, a, it's a Greek recipe. Um, that's kind of where it generated, so. So we both had, at some point in the last five years, I've tried all, I don't think I've tried all three. So we have Skyline Chili, which is, I think of as like the McDonald's of Cincinnati Chili. And then we have Gold Star, which is, I think of as the Burger King of Cincinnati chili. It, those are the two. Those are the two biggest. The two main Cincinnati chili. The are, ones that actually have multiple locations, or that are franchised, or whatever you want to call it, that have um, uh, you know, a bunch of locations. So, but we, but we also have the Dixie chili, which is what would you think of it? It's just like more mom and pop. We just we just got another one. Yeah, that's that's nearby us. There's probably another nine or 10 or 11 places in the greater Cincinnati area that has their own spin, their own recipe or style. So what we wanted to do tonight was uh, to compare them side by side. Like we've had them all at some point um, at different times, but we've never like tried them back to back to like really compare like which one's better. Like we both have our favorites we think, but we've never tried them to see like what the differences I mean, really are. How many times in one hand can you even count you've had a gold star? Twice. Right, exactly. <laughs> and Skyline probably 30. A, a lot more than 30. <laughs> so there you go. But like she said, we've never had them back to back. But uh, the only reason I'm, I think I'm so partial to Skyline is because he is partial to Skyline. So that's just what we eat. But I want to give Sky or Gold Star a fair shot. And we figured why not go ahead and grab another one just for the sake of uh, comparison. And in addition, we went ahead and grabbed the vegetarian style from all of them. Just add an extra little twist to it. So we're gonna go through and try all three of the meat ones first, and then try the vegetarian, so. Also, for those that don't know, I've never been, if you go to it for the first time, Skyline at least offers bibs because of the nature of the liquidy, um, watery chili. It splatters very easily. It's very easy to get on your clothes, so kudos to them but I got myself my homemade bib here. All right, Skyline. Mm-mm-mm. I love Skyline. Spicy cinnamon sauce. Super good. Gold Star. That's different. So Skyline is much spicier. It's more cinnamony. More cinnamon, and I believe that Gold Star. The, I think the rumor was that Skyline does cinnamon, and Gold Star does something else, and that's the difference in a lot of it. But I don't know that flavor. It's not cinnamon, though, or at least it's, it's not very it's, cinnamony. It's not very spicy. It's chunkier than Skyline. A little chunkier. It's good. I don't mind it. I'm just. I think I'm just so used to Skyline that this is. It does seem a little more bland. I don't but know. it's less runny. It's still per pretty runny. It just has like bigger chunks of beef in it, like just slightly bigger. Dixie chili, Kentucky's very own. Oh, a little more pasty. It's a little bit thicker than the other two. That tastes more like Hormel chili. Yeah, or, or like, like ham chili. Yeah, it tastes like Hormel. 
-hmm. The chunkiest, the most bland, but doesn't have a ton of seasoning like Skyline does. Yeah, it's definitely not my favorite. <laughs> but it's not bad though. No, it just it tastes like it tastes like canned chili. A little bit, a little bit. And, but it is thicker. What do you think? I mean, Skyline's still the winner for me. The Gold Star is really good. It wasn't even close. <laughs> These are pretty close to me. I kind of just feel like whatever is most convenient, but maybe Gold Star because I never really had Dixie Chili growing up. Now it's time for the vegetarian style. We're gonna start with ooh, Skyline's vegetarian. It's black beans and rice. So we're not really comparing them to the ones we just had. We're just giving them a try. Yeah, because I've never had, I've never had it in their vegetarian versions. This is more like a normal chili. A little bit. It's a bit chunkier. Beans, chunkier. It's it's black beans and rice. It does have be, be, uh, rice in it. That's not how I had. I've had this once before, and it's not how I remember it tasting. Not terrible, but does not have a lot of flavor in my. Yeah, opinion. it's really bland. The very beany. Yeah, it's very bland. The first time I had this, it tasted more like Southwest. Like, it tasted more like regular chili flavors. Mm -hmm. But this, that. this is a, uh, this is kind of bland. But not, not, but definitely not a terrible alternative. That's for sure. Veggie style, gold star. I don't know if they're all. Are they all? Beans and rice like the other one? No, I think uh, Skyline's the only one that's like mm -hmm. that. No, this is more like normal. Very pasty, almost like. It's not, a, yeah, it's not as runny as their normal chili. It looks a little bit thicker. It smells funny. I like dog food. I don't like that. So the website said this is soy free and gluten free. And I feel like you can definitely taste the difference in the meat. It's not as soft and what do you want to call it like melt melty away uh, it doesn't really you get to bite it a little bit yeah it's a little tougher the meat is the meat is a little tougher and the sauce itself the, it doesn't taste like the same spices maybe it is the same for like gold star it just doesn't hang on so it's made of the same spices just without the soy and the gluten but it's way more pastier the meat is a little tougher. Um, it's actually more spicier than the original, I think. I think, I get it. It tastes similar. I, and I know I have some friends who are vegetarians that love Gold Star for their vegetarian chili, but I. Yeah, it, you I can't compare it to the Skyline because that's the rice and beans, it's way different, so. It's okay. Yeah. Dixie chili. Now this is very chunky. Very chunky. Not peppers, onions in here. Much different. Tomatoes. Ready? Ew. <laughs> <coughs> oh no. Mm -mm. It's not bad. It's very veggie forward. Like, <coughs> but there's some flavor in there that's not tasteful. Yeah, there's big chunks of like, <sighs> big chunks of peppers and onions. I think that's onions. I don't know. Big tomatoes. chunks. Big ch yeah, tomatoes. Big chunks of veggies and stuff that are not normal for like a Cincinnati style chili. So, I would, it's okay. I wouldn't get it though. <laughs> That was my least favorite. Yeah, my least favorite. Too. This and the Gold Star veggies are light years away from everything else. But, yeah. Yeah, so that was interesting. Uh, we've never done that before back to back. It was nice to know that I was right. <laughs> um, Skyline's the best for a reason. <laughs> I don't know a single person that likes Gold Star more. Not to knock them, um, but. <laughs> Probably just depends on what you grew up eating. I mean, I grew up on Saturday mornings, hung over, going to Skyline, and that's just what it was, so maybe that's part of it, but that's the consensus, at least as far as all the people I know. Well, 
it was fun. I'm glad we, we tried it. Now we know and we've confirmed that we like Skyline better than anything else. And we're going to enjoy our three ways. And we're going to be eating chili for a couple of days, I think. <laughs> yeah. But, but thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Peace.